Hi everybody, Lou from Gorguts here. Today I'm standing in my good friend Mark Shikwan shop. I've been doing guitars for I would say 28 years now. So I've been wanting to introduce uh, Mark uh, to our fan uh, for a long time and uh, you know uh, playing those uh, tour lately with those new guitars a lot of people have been asking hey uh, where you got that guitar this is amazing you go uh, that uh, mahogany uh, stealth shape one that I got made for the Death to All tour the other one in Swamp Ash that we played uh, at the heavy MTL with and everything so and Mark just crafted another beautiful seven string guitar for me seven string because on the colored sand is the first record that uh, was written on seven string uh, entirely so I've been having this uh, Ibanez uh, S uh, for a long time, maybe maybe 10 years, a good 10 years. I bought it uh, a bit before, uh, after uh, From Wisdom. It's been sitting uh, underneath my bed for <laughs> maybe four years and uh, took it out when I joined uh, Negativa. And then uh, in uh, Negativa, I, was, uh, I decided that I would, from now on, write music only on seven string. It was new for me, so I thought with the extra string that I could come up with uh, riffs uh, in a different way, you know, different instrument, different way of playing and everything. And even seven string is so different for me that I tried to relearn the old catalog, uh, like, you know, Orphans of Sickness, Inverted and Obscura on the seven string, and it just doesn't work. So it has a really uh, specific way of playing and, it's, and it, it inspired me on, uh, on a different way. So this being said, you know, I'm very happy today that uh, I'll get to show you the new guitar that I have uh, for the upcoming uh, Carcass Tour, Black Dahlia, for the Disabel, Disabel Tour. And I'm very happy that Mark uh, was able to finish it uh, before the tour, so uh, come with me and uh, we'll get to meet uh, Mark here in the shop. Hi, my name is Mark Chiquan. I'm a guitar builder and bass builder. I'm here in Sherbrooke, Quebec. I started playing around with guitars uh, at, a, at the age of 18 years old. I built my first body at 18. I was inspired by Eddie Van Halen back then. It took me about three years after that, started to make my own guitars, the necks and everything. It's been a passion since I was 10 years old. So uh, I'm still uh, addicted to guitars and amps. I have a lot of amps. I even buy guitars, even if I make some, I'm, I'm a guitar nut, so I've been doing guitars solid since 2004 at full time like repairs and mods and I do all sorts of things on guitars that people want like really uh, like get some parts made by machinists and everything so I'm really uh, always at at the search of the best products available for like bridges and uh, pickups and now I, I, I make my own double lacking and trust rod that it works really well and very, very proud of it so uh, this is my workshop where I do all the setups, the assembly, and we we filmed the little uh, part where I made the guitars. It's small, but I have another room with all my wood and stuff. I, you can never have, have enough wood, so uh, this is a great great opportunity today. That we did it with Luke, and he's going on tour soon, and I'm going to be there in Montreal to see him with Carcass and uh, Black Dahlia Murder. It's going to be an awesome show. The new record is awesome. I love it. That's the nice uh, workbench. Uh when he gets uh, all the surgery done on those string uh, instruments. <laughs> so here's Mark. Hi. Hey. Hi, Mark. Hi. Thanks for uh, welcoming us in, uh, in your shop today. Hi, I mean, Mark. that's kind of awkward because, uh, as you know, we're French, so it's kind of weird to speak in English to each other, so I'll be funny anyway. Cool. Okay, so, yeah, we're at Mark's place. So uh, Mark's going to tell us a bit uh, to the viewer, I'd like you to explain, you know, how you started and uh, how we've met and uh, back in the 80s. Yeah. But uh, how did you, how did you uh, start uh, the building guitars? That's a way back. Makes me old. <laughs> um, I started because I was too picky on all the guitars I would try in the stores. So I started to make bodies and eventually made the necks. And uh, when we met, I was already starting to make guitars. That was in, uh, I didn't even have uh, Gorgot's form back then, no. that was in 88 or something, yeah. when, when you played at that church uh, basement? Yeah, when I had my band at the same time, and uh, afterwards I made, a, I made a few guitars, and I was never happy, so eventually I got a bit better at it. Trial and error, I didn't have any courses, so that's 
pretty much what you have yeah. to do. Self taught guitar making, yeah. by the way. Yeah. You, you destroy a few to learn how to make, and then <laughs> you, uh, you go from there. Yeah. So, uh, Tri trial and error. Yeah. So I brought a couple pictures today, which, uh, which are cool. This is that picture was taken at the very first show, at the very first Gorgot show. That was in Halloween 80, 89. Yeah. And uh, Mark is on that picture with his uh, bandmate. And actually, you have Bob here, which was the drummer of the band. And we were, Gorgots were rehearsing in Bob's house basement. And Blaylock, which was Mark's band as well. And uh, Bob is the one that came up with the band Gorgots, actually. And we kindly asked him if we could use it for our band, but we just couldn't find any any band name for us. So yeah, um, it was a cool. Uh, <laughs> said yes. We were both deeply into horror movies. Yeah, yeah. That's why it came about. Exactly. So that picture is from the the first show, and what's interesting on it is that that's my very very first guitar, which was Army Color. But, me too, I started very early to be picky on my guitar, and you have uh, Mark's, uh, uh, Mark's work on this one, you know, you see the putty uh, that was put on the, the neck pickup, because uh, I always hated neck pickup, even at the very early, <laughs> at the beginning. So, uh, and Mark had sent it the guitar, which, uh, which we painted black, and made yeah. black, and I, I covered it with stickers. I looked this morning to get a picture for, with the sticker version, but couldn't find it so that was taken the same uh, the same evening because uh, we played two shows in a row huh? yeah yeah a Friday and a Saturday or yeah. something yeah that was a cool game. yeah that was taken uh, this one was taken maybe in uh, 90 1990 in Magog and Cannibal Corpse came uh, to play this show in Magog with us and on that picture I have the very I think this is the very first guitar you built for me that's a flying a, V? It was a V, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't start building your neck back then. No. That, that was a reverse head, yeah. and I was a big fan of flying V, you know, because Pierre, which you know, that uh, produced uh, uh, Obscura and From Wisdom for us, was playing a V, and I was a big fan of his playing, so I had to have a V. <laughs> and that's the first one uh, custom that you build entirely. That's the first, I think, that's the first next room you built from yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. With the old logo which I drew for Mark also on that picture. That picture was taken on the uh, Obscura tour in uh, 1990, fall of 1998. Yeah. And I recorded Obscura with that guitar as well. So, yeah, so we've been. Uh, We've been uh, working together from. Yeah, for wh wh what's cool is that you've been in the band environment since the very beginning. You yeah. Know? So that's a creative uh, relationship, you know, uh, that we've been having uh, through uh, through those instruments and stuff. So I would like you to uh, to show a couple of uh, of your uh, of the buildings that you made and why you chose those models. And uh, you can start with this white one. Yeah, that's totally 80s. Yeah, uh, that's mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was a big Loudness fan in the 80s, oh, yeah? so, and I really like these styles. I know ESP put them out later on, but they were making necks. I used to buy ESP parts before they started to make guitars. Oh yeah? yeah. yeah. They, they were making parts be yeah. before instruments? Neck plates and stuff like that. Is that right? I yeah. didn't know that. And uh, I always loved this model, so I made myself one with a, went back with a Floyd Rose. I have not played with Floyd Roses with it for years. And I, can't, I can't play without them. So, <laughs> is that a is that a neck tool? No, it's a set neck. It's this a set neck. Can you show the back as well? Yeah. But, uh, nice finishing. That's great. It's a set neck. It's all in the white Carina. Okay. And uh, you know, it's a, a shame to paint white, paint white Carina, but I wanted a white guitar with black binding. Why have you chose a white Carina for the tone? Tone. I like the tone. Which it. is high end, uh, uh, low end. No, it's very pretty. Uh, it's pr pretty open as a tone for, mm -hmm. uh, for a guitar. I really like it. Okay. Right. With the bare knuckle pickup, of course, the yeah. aftermath. Yeah, yeah. Love the uh, the, the, the black, black binding. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And souped it up with a titanium block and a spring block. Okay. It makes a lot of difference with the sustain, a richer tone. And okay. It's really uh, really interesting the difference it makes. You never think it will, but once you try it. Yeah, we can talk a bit more about the titanium uh, on the parts uh, when you when yeah. you yeah, when you tell us about yeah this one here. Yeah. So it's a standard uh, twenty three. Uh, 24 and 3 quarter scale, 22 frets, so, ebony fretboard, really basic. Killer. 
go to uh, you can show us that V for the yeah. finishing and also the inlay that you made on, yeah, the, on the neck. I'll click on this one. Yeah. So this is a V that I had when I had my second band that I don't have anymore, but <laughs> that's all right. And I was really uh, into uh, like choppers and uh, hot rods and stuff like that. So I did, I did an inspired guitar. Yeah, you're a muscle that. car guy. Yeah. You like those, those yeah. toys. <laughs> so I was inspired a bit by, by West Coast choppers with all the mm -hmm. things they did back then. I, do, I built this about 12, 10, 12 years ago. So I did all those flames and this and aluminum for the string through. And it's all with an orange, uh, orange candy with those big flakes in it. Mm -hmm. it yeah, nice uh, pearl here for yeah. the, the, the by, uh, This is ivory. I know it's we're not allowed, but I took it from a can. Is that right? That was destroyed, so I okay. didn't want to throw away the, the ivory. So I you used see, it on this one. there's even inlay here for the the rod uh, yeah. uh, plate there. Yeah, just yeah. to uh, just to keep that uh, cross uh, continuing up yeah, the yeah. headstock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a beauty here. I'd like you to tell Take us this more one about now. this one. Yeah, that's the one uh, that you built for Andrew McDonald, yeah. the Canadian composer. Yeah. Yeah, he's a teacher at a university in Bishops, and he asked me to make him a seven-string hollow body. So this was the first one I've, uh, that I would make as a hollow body. I made several seven strings. Which is? This is, is this mahogany? Yeah, it's all yeah. mahogany. Wow. It's all emptied out mahogany. Three inch thick that I brought down to two and three eighths, and okay. with a bubinga top on the front. Wow. But, uh, he wanted special inlays. Uh, like moons and gold pearl with yeah. the sun with the, yeah, the same wood as the top of the winger. Yeah. Can we get a close shot to those uh, those inlays? As far as the the neck, well, it's all in uh, hard rock make flame maple. It's mm -hmm. harder to get. You see, you find more of the soft maple now. Mm -hmm. So when you when you find it, it's like almost like a treasure. Mm -hmm. So we try to keep it. And uh, have, you, have you made all those pickup? Uh, yeah, it's all in flame maple and wow, mounting rings and everything. Even a tailpiece I made in brass with a okay, a, a piece of uh, ebony with his uh, his initials and in, uh, mm -hmm. in ivory. This is amazing, amazing one. A really, really talented person. And seven string. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. Yeah, so that's a that's a nice one. <laughs> Oh, that's the one with the titanium uh, parts. Last but not least. <laughs> yeah, that thing is a beast. This is my sh my shape of a super strap. Luke has one just like that in swamp ash. This one is all black uh, black limba, uh, Karina. That's what we hear over here, but the real term is limba. Okay, and which is? Is it an African one or yeah, something? Yes, from Africa. Okay. Yeah. And this is a set through design, so it's it's finished like a neck through. But it's a set yeah. neck. You see the joinery, can you have a close-up on that? So this one, uh, the way I do my uh, my set-throughs, the neck comes up to the end of the pickup hole, so it gives it a better, better uh, mass when you glue it in there for mm -hmm. the sustain and everything. And this one is all, uh, I went all out on this one. I, I bought the Blender Rose Titanium. I did all my parts myself except for the knobs that I got done by machine shop. So those pick up, uh, how do you call those? Pick up rings. Pick up rings, you, which you, you machine by hand? Yeah, I cut them all out uh, on, a, on a saw. Okay. They're all 1 16 thick uh, titanium. You, you, you like uh, install a, a metal uh, band saw on your band saw? Is yeah, that right? that's it. I have a metal band saw for okay. that. Okay. And uh, the same for, thing for the logos, uh, it's inlaid in titanium. Okay, logos in titanium. Truss rod okay. cover. Uh, Wow. We did the jack plate on the side here and also and, the back plate here. And, and uh, for that uh, volume knob, is that because I know you have a friend which is a machinist? Yeah. yeah it's a, it's and, and all custom made. Custom made yeah. uh, parts. Amazing. I wanted to have all the same color scheme for the guitar. Mm -hmm. The tuning keys are chrome, brush chrome, so they give all the, the same. Yeah. So you would have told me that they were titanium, uh, I, would have, uh, I wouldn't have noticed yeah, the difference. I wish, but they would be quite expensive. <laughs> uh -huh. Do they make? Not yet. Can we find yeah, them? I have a supplier that probably is going to start making some. Okay. So they'll be ultra light. Titanium weighs nothing. Mm -hmm. And the sustain uh, is, in, is insane with titanium. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. Uh, and it's it a super, a super tough. Uh, yeah, it's quite, uh, it's quite tough, but this, uh, the Floyd Rose is. Uh, I know uh, I, I've worked with titanium and I know that they, 
they, they, just, they have a special uh, hardening process for the titanium because it would get, get all chewed up at the knife edge. Mm -hmm. So I knew about it because when you work with titanium, it's hard, but it's still soft. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't have lasted. So it, it's it's obvious that it's treated. Is it somehow. easy to hand machine like uh, when you work on the bad side and stuff? Not that much. There's a lot of filing to do to make yeah, it. Yeah, you have to have special blades. Okay. And it wears them out fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it, the the cool thing is it weighs about the same as a tunematic bridge. The whole frame on. Okay. It weighs nothing. In titanium. The sustain is insane. So a casted steel one would weigh like uh, three half. times as much. Three? Oh yeah. Wow. If, if not more beautiful. That's beautiful. Look, look, look at this wood here. It's yeah, that, this black uh, linen yeah. is insane. And is that oil finish and wax? Yes. Yeah, oil finish and wax. Oh, wow, look at this. This is beautiful woodworking. Beautiful. Yeah. I like also, I like if you could show that detail as well here. You, you do like a, not a cross grain, but like 45 uh, yeah, I had a piece glue, 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 glue up here. I mean, it, it, it makes a very piece. nice line for, for grain uh, from the from the front from view, but it also uh, strength uh, strengthen. Uh, your, yeah, your I did that for it. It gives it more strength because yeah. since you uh, you have when you have an angled headstock like that, that goes really uh, and that's pretty aggressive tiny here. That could you don't have as much a strength. So uh, with this added on, that's about five sixteenths. Yeah, it gives it more strength and stability. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw that joint was when you build the uh, the, 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 the the stealth shape uh, yeah. mahogany. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have this beauty here. It it wanted to stay in New York City, so <laughs> after the virus show, it just stayed there. Sorry, still. <laughs> So I started to do this not like, uh, maybe three years ago. Oh, the, I read this, about this it. Joint, and, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I read about it and uh, I, I thought it was better for the neck also. You want more stability? Have, yeah, you want to have a headstock that stays straight. What I like also about the neck that you're building, because usually you would see uh, a joint here yeah. and then another piece was glued, yeah. which, uh, uh, which gives the angle. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, so but if you look carefully at this, that comes up yeah. from a very, let's say, a three-inch piece of wood. Yeah. And then you extract the whole shape from there. And look at yeah. that! Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Sh beautifully uh, shaped, and uh, it's amazing. And also, I now I'm making I'm making my own double acting truss rods. Okay. And I always put the titanium bars each side of the truss rod uh, for stability and sustain. Okay. You get those bars which you like. Add those extra parts yeah. on it for yeah. more stable. They're, they're from KTS, but I also use carbon fiber on, in the bases. Okay. For, for stability and uh, stiffness. Mm -hmm. Great. Amazing. Cool. Miller. And we have also this one here in Korea. Yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my other one that I use yeah. also. Uh, SG shape, yeah. which is amazing. Beautiful. Uh, book, uh, not book match body, but uh, that's you have a glue up in the center here. Yeah. yeah. What, what are those bridges? Those are made by Hipshot. They, okay. They call them Grand Baby Bridges. They're all aluminum. Okay. I, I wanted to try them, and it gives yeah. a lot of sustain. Cool shape. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's a cool bridge. More, more length from the the lower end yeah. uh, strings uh, to uh, for inclination. So that's not the set neck. How do you call yeah, this? A, that's that, a, that is a set, set standard set neck. So, okay, yeah. okay, well, and that's a different joinery from the other one. The other one's more set through. Yeah, okay. So this one is more like a Gibson style set neck. Okay. Killer. <laughs>